Hello and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a different video. I'm going to be doing a Walt Disney World this and that video and you'll notice I have a special guest today. This is Claire, my fiance. She is joining me today so we'll go with 10 questions about Walt Disney World and we also have five questions that are to do with just kind of staying generally in around the Orlando area as well that are non-Disney related. Before we get into today's video I do just want to say I did a quick video recently saying that I hit goal number one had for my channel which was to get 20 views on a single video. I've also now hit, I've skipped a few goals, I hit goal number four, which was to hit 50 views. I got that on my Rebel Clash uh, Elite Trainer Box video. So I set myself another goal, and that was to reach 100 views in a single video, and I managed to get that on my Stitch Crashes Disney video. So thank you for anyone who watched that video or subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. Give myself another goal now to hopefully hit, and that will be to get 200 views in a single video. That's my next goal, so let's get into this new video. So question number one today on my uh, Walt Disney World video, this and that, I said my first question was, would you rather ride Haunted Mansion or Space Mountain with the lights on? What would you go for? Ooh. Space Mountain. Space Mountain? I think I'd go for Haunted Mansion, mainly because Space Mountain, I think all you would see is a big building for a lot of track. I think with Haunted Mansion, you would see a lot of the behind the scenes of how things work and things like that. I think Space Mountain is just a lot of track. Haunted Mansion for me and Space Mountain for you? Yeah. Yeah. Moving on, question number two now is would you ra would you rather ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad or Splash Mountain ten times in a row? Um That's a hard question. Mm -hmm. I like to get really wet over and over again. <laughs> once you're wet once you will be wet once and it'll just keep True. being more wet. Especially in Florida heat. Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain? I think I'd actually go for Big Thunder Railroad because as much as I love Splash Mountain, like I said, once you got wet once, it would be just the same, continually getting wet. It does, it is quite a long ride and I think repeating that over and over again would take on quite a while. I think it would get repetitive 10 times in a row as much as I love Splash Mountain, so I think I'd go for the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Uh, the thrill of that 10 times over would be better for me. Question number three, I've got, would you rather give up Fantasmic or Happily Ever After forever? Yeah, I think that's quite a hard on that one. I think for me, I'd have to give up Happily Ever After because Disney does have other fireworks shows and what Fantasmic has, has includes a lot of the actual characters as well on the boats and things like that and the barges at the front. So for me, and especially as a whole spectacular, obviously with the Maleficent and Dragon and things like that, for me, I would rather give up Happily Ever After than keeping Fantasmic. Give up. So you keep you would do the same as me and keep Fantasmic. Yeah. yeah. The other thing is as well, if you ever try to get out of Magic Kingdom at the end of the night after Happily Ever After is absolute chaos. Whereas at least after Fantasmic at Hollywood Studios you can get out quite easy. So agreeing on that one for once, we will give up Happily Ever After and keep Fantasmic. Question number four now. Is it would you rather stay one night in Cinderella's Castle Suite or would you stay a week in a Polynesian village resort bungalow? Mm. Because the Cinderella one's like a life, once in a it lifetime is. thing. It's a once, in, it's basically a once in a lifetime thing versus basically longer there in some, in some ways. I don't know. You gotta pick one. I do Polynesian. I do Polynesian. Longer, just, longer just, the better. Just for the longer. Yeah. I think I'd have to go with the Castle Suite because although for us, I'd probably put the bungalow is a bit too much out of our price range. I think that's that one night I've been able to do uh, Cinderella Castle Suite just for one night, just so we say we've done it. Something that hardly anyone's ever done would be better for me. You know, it's something as Tim Tracker fans, it's even something Tim Tracker, hasn't, Tim Tracker hasn't done. So, you know, Disney, if you're somehow watching this, you know, maybe next video, get Tim Tracker in there, get him a video, because that'd be super cool to see inside there. So for me, Cinderella Castle Suite and for you, the Polynesian. Yeah, I've done yeah. better for me. Number five is, would you rather sleep in the Haunted Mansion or the Tower of Terror? Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. It is our favourite ride. Um, where would you sleep in? Would you sleep in, in the elevator? I mean, it'll be some alarm in the morning to suddenly be dropped <laughs> in the tower. I think, I think if you, if you say the Haunted Mansion, the whole thing's haunted, at least Tower of Terror is supposed to only be the lift that's haunted kind of thing, so... Yeah, I think just for the fact that it's our favourite ride, I think Tower of Terror, we both have to agree, Tower of Terror will be the one to to stay in there. Question number six now, would you rather climb to the top of Expedition Everest or to the top of Tower of Terror? Ooh. Back to back Tower of Terror questions. Tower of Terror is my favourite, but probably Expedition Everest because you could see a lot more from the top. Yeah, I think, although I guess as I said, as much as we love Tower of Terror, I think if you actually got to go to the top of Everest, 
or the expedition Everest, not that, or seeing Mount Everest. Uh, I think seeing what you can see across Animal Kingdom would be so much cooler there. You'd probably see some of the safari and things like that as well, a lot more at the park, um, with Tower of Terror. Although as much people of Hollywood Studios are probably a bit less to see, it's a bit less exciting on top. So yeah, both agree on that one. We would rather climb to the top of Expedition Everest. Question number seven. Would you rather never ride Soarin' or never ride Test Track? Ooh, um, probably our two favourite rides at Epcot there. So that's a tough one between the two of them. Soarin'. You'd never rather ride Soarin'? I think it's a tough one. Um, for me... I'd possibly say never ride test track again, which is probably a surprise, but I just think Soaring offers something completely different to any other ride. It's even with all the sensor stuff like that as well. I know I've got a fight of passage at Animal Kingdom, I'll do a similar thing, putting the sensor into the ride, but for me, I think I'd rather possibly never ride test track again, which is a bit of a surprise. It's more of an interactive experience as well with creating the car to begin with. But I think overall, for me, Soaring is a bit of a better ride for me. So disagreeing there for me, I would uh, never ride Test Track again. And Claire, you'd go with never ride Soren again? Yeah, I just think Test Track's fun where you have to make your car and feel more involved in it. Yeah, so two different opinions there. They're a bit different for once. Question number eight now. Do you rather play Toy Story, Midway Mania or Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger Spin? So I prefer Toy Story Mania, but I'm better at Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, I said for me, I do actually prefer to Toy Story Midway Mania, uh, but between the two, uh, Claire tends to win Buzz and I tend to win the Toy Story Midway Mania. So for me, I prefer Toy Story Mania, but you prefer Toy Story Midway Mania as a yeah. ride, but yeah. you prefer Buzz Lightyear because that's the one you win. Yeah. <laughs> we are super competitive in that. We tend to have a best of three, including the uh, Men in Black ride at Universal Orlando as well. Claire tends to win the buzz and the men in black. I think you're just better with the laser, I think, to be yeah. honest. If you've ever been to, anyone's ever been to Alton Towers with the hex ride, Claire wins that one as well. <laughs> but for me, for some reason, I can win Toy Story Midway Mania. So maybe it's because it's of the slightly different shooting system, that's one I win. But for me, I would pick Toy Story Midway Mania and you're going buzz. Yeah. So this competitive side, we're basically just picking <laughs> the ride to be better at. Question number nine now is, would you rather get the ferry boat or the monorail to Magic Kingdom? That was a very quick question, definitely sure on that. But to be fair, we do always get yeah. the ferry boat for us. It's just part of the experience of going to Magic Kingdom. You can you get the ferry boat. We just tend to, we don't, I don't think we even tend to talk about it, do we? We just tend to go. We just go there, don't yeah, we? Yeah, as soon as we got off the tram from the car park, we just walk straight down to the ferry boat. For us, it's quite an easy decision straight away to, we don't even look at the monorail, we'll just straight away go down to the ferry boat. More enjoyable for us, more relaxed, and just feels like part of our Magic Kingdom experience. And question number 10 now is, it's probably quite a tough one. Would you rather never do a meet and greet with Mickey and Minnie ever again, mm. or never do a meet and greet with Chippendale? It has to be Mickey and Minnie. You never do Mickey and Minnie? Yeah. I'd have to actually agree with you. Um, our favourite meet and greet always is Chippendale, whether that's the you know, normal Chippendale. We've done quite a few different ones. We've done them in Dinosaurs at... Uh, Animal Kingdom, we've met them at the restaurant at Epcot at the Golden Grail. We've done them uh, in Christmas outfits. We've met them at uh, the exit to Splash Mountain in their kind of cowboy outfits. Whenever we do a meet and greet with Chippendale, it is always our favourite meet and greet. It's always fun to be around. Now, those, those, as much as we love meeting Mickey and Minnie, they do tend to be in a lot more stage shows, parades, and things like that. So you're always guaranteed to at least see them. Uh, but for the experience of what we have, a, we've always had a better experience with with meet and greets. We'd have to agree with both with Chip and Dale. Yeah. So that is the Walt Disney World section of the questions. So we do have five non Disney World questions now that are to do with kind of just general Florida, what we do when we stay in Orlando. So first question is: Would you rather stay on site or off site? Off site. Off site. That is kind of what we've always done, isn't it? It's kind of just a price thing, isn't it? Really, what we can afford. We'd love to be able to stay on site and things like that, but for us, it's cheaper to stay off site. We normally stay at the Club La Costa Resort, so we've stayed at the Encanto Resort three times, as well as the Regal Oaks Resort. We feel them are great resorts, you know, you get a nice little townhouse, you know, with two or three bedroom house, very nice and big spacious, and we get a hot tub in there as well. So you get a lot for your money there compared to what you get through at Disney as well kind of one of the other things we kind of like is sometimes you get to relax you get away from kind of disney as much as we enjoy i think about we loved our disney holidays it's just nice sometimes to have a little bit of a step back yeah. 
question number two now is would you rather this is kind of a bit of a disney one as well but it is when you, we go to florida would we rather have a meal plan or would, would we rather eat as you go kind of thing um what do you think about that one I don't know because we never had it in Florida. No, we've never we have had a meal plan up when we've been to Disneyland Park. We've never had a Florida one. I do for personally. I think we do it right in Florida. We kind of eat when we want kind of thing rather than pay the prices. You now sometimes we do like to go shop because we have a townhouse and we've got a kitchen. We can cook and do our own meals and things like that. It is nice to go to the supermarket and just it saves a bit of money as well to cook our own food. Sometimes take our own sandwiches. I mean, I'm sure meal plans are great. If we could get one time, try it out. It'll be great. But for us, probably especially money wise, uh, each year goes way better, isn't it? Yeah. Plus, I like buying stuff from Walmart and Target. Yeah, it is <laughs> always fun to see what they've got in their supermarkets compared to what we have over here. Especially, you know, when we simply have to go to a cereal aisle and realize how much bigger their supermarkets <laughs> are. Uh, but yeah, simply try and do foods and things like that, and seeing what they've got uh, at supermarkets each go is better for us, and we kind of just plan our day out as we want then but if we're at a theme park we want it we pick a restaurant we want to eat wherever we want to eat question number three now i think it's a bit of a harder one for us would you rather if you could only go to one on a holiday would you rather go to the florida mall or the disney character warehouse we love the character warehouse you know if anyone hasn't been before there's plenty of videos for like youtube of people that have been there we have a lot of discounts at theme parks stuff and things like that if you get there just the right time you will get good deals uh but we do love the mall so yeah. What would it be for you? Might have to go with them all, just purely for box lunch and hot topic. Yeah, we do love things like box lunch, hot topic. There's a lot of kind of geeky things like that we love mm -hmm. to go and collect and see things like that. And I think as much as we love the warehouse and you obviously always get good deals there for one thing, it could just depend the time you go, you could go to a warehouse at one point and there's nothing there. Whereas the more you're always going to see something different, something nice, something you want to pick up with the disney character warehouse it is x theme park stuff so although it may cost more we can always pick up theme park merchandise things like that when we are out at the park so i think we're in agreement there that uh, we would rather go and do our shopping get the for them all it is less a would you rather question but i've put another question in to ask you here if you could try one new restaurant that we've never tried in uh america really because we have been to new york as well uh one non-disney restaurant what would you want to go to non-disney um... yeah so obviously off theme park sites and things like that cheesecake factory uh mm -hmm. i actually i've written the same thing down as well cheesecake factory it's something we've mentioned before and mm. um, it's it, to me it's something that obviously i've heard of before especially if you've ever watched big bang theory it's mentioned on there it's something to me i've seen the p videos of people go there as well and people have always said it's nice food there as well so for us that is the one restaurant that we haven't been in america uh, that we'd like to go to so in agreement there you know, we didn't even coordinate on that one it just happened i've written that down as well <laughs> so both in agreement so i think next time we go to uh orlando or um, america at all i think cheesecake factory will be the restaurant that we'll be going to and the final question i have is kind of as i mentioned we like to do our own food shops and this is a three-part question if you want to go to one to pick up a food shop where would you rather go walmart Publix, or target Ooh, i'd say target target um for me, if I'm thinking food, I would possibly go with Publix. But the thing is as well, not only do we like to go for a food shop, we do kind of like to look at other things because the supermarkets in America are so massive. They have so much of a massive like, clothing section and kind of, you know, like a, uh, toys and things like that and collectible sections and things, other things, which Walmart and Target about. I'd probably say Target if we're looking at collectibles and other things like that. But if it was just the food team, I think we'd go for i go for Publix. You still sticking with Target for everything? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think so. Where we stay normally at the Encanto Resort, there's a Target, there's a Publix and a Walmart. We're all within close reach to each other, so we do tend to visit all of them on our trips. But so for me, if I was only going for one for food, I would say Publix. If I go for other things, I would say Target. So I think collectively, if we were going somewhere, we'd probably pick Target because it's a shop we both like. Yeah. Uh, there you go we did 15 questions total there 10 on both disney world and five on kind of general orlando area what we like to do when we stay there so super fun video glad to finally get my first video out with claire i hope people enjoyed it we will be doing some more maybe not just these type of questions we do have a lot more in our head that we could do for these types of questions claire will be joining a few more of them so hopefully we're getting them up soon thank you for joining us for today's video and we'll see you again next time bye for now bye.